Well, Sean Eichhorst, five-year run as athletic director is over. I texted with him this afternoon. He did not want to elaborate on the written statement that was in the university release saying he was disappointed with the decision and the news, but he was thankful for his time at Nebraska, saying that Nebraska's athletic department does have a bright future. Eichhorst is still owed $1.9 million on his contract that runs through June of 2019. The big question is timing. Why now? Why make the change three games into a football season. We want to get started. We've got work to do. We want to get started on that work by bringing in the new leader to address the issues that we referred to here in competitiveness. So we want to get started now. Are you afraid that this might disrupt the football program in mid-season? You know, there is, unless you do it in the summertime, there's never a time when we're not competing. Yeah, you heard that word over and over again, competing. The Nebraska's inability to compete at the highest level in all sports. Hank Bounds and Ronnie Green saying that over and over again. The i firing comes five days after a stunning loss to Northern Illinois in football and two days before a big, big football game, a homecoming football game, when Nebraska takes on Rutgers. With more on that, let's bring in KETV Newswatch 7's Matt Lothrop, who has more. Yeah, Andy, we're waiting Mike Riley's weekly availability on Thursday. It's nothing new. He speaks every Thursday. At about 5.30, it's usually his final remarks before game day. Now, current players at practice, so they couldn't give their reaction, but some former Huskers took to Twitter this afternoon to voice their thoughts on the Sean Eichhorst firing. Tommy Armstrong said this, I'll say for most of us, previous players wanted to say from day one, he didn't give us a good first impression definitely during that first meeting. Former defensive back Josh Mitchell, always outspoken, added, the transition from Osborne to Eichhorst was night and day. Athletes went from genuinely cared about to items. That's the last I'm going to say about it. Well, Mike Riley, again, set to talk within the next 30 minutes or so. We'll bring you that when we have it tonight on KETV Newswatch 7 at 6. Live outside Memorial Stadium, Matt Lothar, KETV Newswatch 7.